see this? This is the L.A. River. Okay? That's the big, uh, big part. You know the big part of the river? If you ever see it when it's going, scary, isn't it? Got a lot of volume of water coming down here. And then this is one of the tributaries coming in. All right? Now, when this water gets over to here, its volume is great. I mean, there's a lot of pressure behind it. Not as much pressure as there is behind this smaller volume of water. Smaller amount. So it tries to actually go up there. Because it isn't seeing complete resistance. It's getting some resistance, but not enough to stop it from going up there. So it goes up there, and it gets so far, and then it kind of makes a little whirlpool thing here, and then it travels on. Now, have you ever witnessed that in the water when it does that? That's kind of what happens, see? It tries to go up the area that has less resistance. Well, the same thing happens with the cable, with electricity. If I have a signal coming down here and a signal coming down here, and put them in a Y to go there, well, if this signal has more voltage than this signal, then when it gets here, it's going to try to go up there. Well, because the resistance isn't enough to stop it. So, when we have this cable like this, it's really against the rules to put two outputs to one input. Because of that. Now, we've done it. You've taken the output of your CD player or your cassette deck, put it in a Y, and put it into the guitar amp so you can listen to it at rehearsals, and it, it works. Well, it's coming out of the same box. It's pretty much the same voltage. And I can take two microphones, and I can Y them. We call it malt the mics. Let's say I've got this trombone section here, and I've run out of inputs in there. I can't have four mics in the trombones. I can only have two. So I can take these two mics, if they're the same mic, and I can put them in a Y, and I can plug them into one input, and it'll be fine. But they have to be the same mic, because they have to put have the same output voltage. Two different mics won't work. You're going to run into trouble. But if they're the same mic, we can do that. So we just go by the general rule that you cannot put two outputs to one input. That's why we have a mixer, because the mixer has protective circuitries that don't allow the signal to go up that way. But you can put one output to many inputs. So in other words, I could take this one output, and it could go to many inputs. And that's okay. 